What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had an amazing uh, holidays. We are super excited to start 2022 off with an amazing video for you guys. Thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers and supporting our channel. We really appreciate it. All the likes, the comments, we see all of it and we're so grateful and thankful. And I'm grateful and thankful for the advice that you guys give me as well. Today, we got an amazing video planned for you guys. Right behind me is a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. This thing is absolutely beautiful, such a beast on all terrain, uh, truly the uh, the SUV that conquers all. And I'm excited to get this video get this uh, video started for you guys today. It's absolutely freezing, my hands are going numb, um, but I'm super excited. Uh, no better uh, no better uh, terrain than uh, to, to take this beauty out here and uh, give it a little bit of a shred for you guys and uh, tour on this video. Uh, hope you uh, enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video, how your holidays were. I'd love to hear from you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hit those post notification button uh, so that you can stay notified when we drop a new video. And uh, without further ado, let's get this video rolling, guys. Let's go. I'm super excited, like I said earlier, to get a review done on this 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. I really, really love the Trailhawk series uh, Jeep has done. It kind of has like a really cool vibe, similar to the Track Hawk. Um, obviously, the Track Hawk being something more sporty and built for uh, speed, and, and obviously, hence the name Track Hawk, uh, more of a track car. Now that we're in the Trailhawk, what you're gonna get out of the Trailhawk is all of the 4x4 options, all of the off-roading options, um, and the power still. This this vehicle will surprise you. It is quick. It has a nice pull to it. It's got a decent amount of horsepower, and it's got a solid engine under this uh, hood over here. We got a 5.7 liter Hemi V8, 360 horsepower, which is just absolutely sick for an SUV that is pretty much capable to do everything on all all terrain as well we do also have the quadra lift air suspension in here which i love that a lot um, ultimately this is the best suv um, in my opinion um, for what it can do uh, you now you can't go and compare this to you know uh, an suv that's probably not in the the same caliber and uh and um, genre as uh, this SUV is. This is the multi-purpose SUV. This is the SUV that gets you through every situation, um, allows you to have that off-roading fun, but then also know that like, if you wanna do a long distance uh, road trip, or if you wanna go skiing and snowboarding in a mountain of your, your favorite choice or whatever it may be, you know that you can get there and back with your family safe in this SUV. This, th this is gonna pretty much beat all terrain. It's gonna conquer of all uh trains out there and uh and uh that's what i want to emphasize on today's video um and also shout out to everyone who's been liking commenting and subscribing to the channel i uh, do read a lot of the comments and i appreciate all of your guys' feedback i'm getting better at these videos as we go uh like i've said in previous videos i'm not a car expert i'm learning as much as i can about uh the cars that i do review on reviews on as uh, i do them and um, like I said, I, I want to be a mixture of um, knowledge, but also just honesty. And, um, and I feel like that's where this is kind of cool is that you're going to get an honest review from someone who's probably not like, like I am. Like I'm not the most um, experienced in, in cars and, and, and all these uh, facts. And I learn as much as I can about the car before I get into it and do the video. Don't get me wrong. But... Like I said, I want to give an honest review as well, kind of from the standpoint that um, I don't know as much about the car. And a lot of us that are going to buy cars, we do our research and we we do find out as much as much as the information as we can, uh, so that when we go and look at the car or whatever it may be, um, that um, you know what you're going into. But for the most part, we're not all car experts. And I know shout out to the people out there who are and comment down below. 
I see you guys, I appreciate you guys, and uh, you guys are the experts, you're the cool people that I look up to and that I uh, aspire to be And So as we grow this channel, we're gonna get uh, as much of that as we can. Um, and uh, today we're gonna focus on what's important. Let's get some heat going on in here. I got the glasses starting to fog up because it is cold. We are on the Sea to Sky Highway today, beautiful British Columbia. We just left North Van. Shout out North Vancouver Foundation for allowing us to uh, review this vehicle. This is a beautiful, beautiful vehicle that just landed on their lot, only 90 kilometers on it. The majority of those kilometers we have put on it, uh, getting ready for this video. Uh, but I thought I would take this, uh, this absolute gorgeous SUV down the most beautiful highway, probably in Canada, the Sea to Sky, all the way up to Whistler. We're not gonna go all the way up to Whistler, but we are gonna ride a bit of this highway today, get a feel for this car, maybe even take it in a little bit of snow and have some fun and uh, then go through all the features of the inside of the cabin, front seats, back seats, uh, trunk, uh, engine, engine bay, and uh, the exterior looks as well. And uh, like I said, this car has quite a bit of power, uh, very comfortable to drive. The seats are very comfortable. We've got heated and ventilated seats. As you can see, the controls here, we'll play around with that in a bit so we can stay focused on the nice, beautiful drive in front of us. Yeah, just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. It's snowed. Um, Christmas Eve actually it snowed here in uh, in Vancouver and uh, it's just been cold ever since it's the snow has stayed normally from my experience in Vancouver the snow will fall and then the rain will come and the heat will come and it'll just get rid of it and make it all slush and dirt but lately it's just been absolutely dry absolutely gorgeous it's minus six right now it's probably gonna get a little bit colder as we go up this highway but um, just an absolute beautiful drive for us today. And we're gonna stop off at a nice little side location, take a look at the car and uh, go through the full review. But let's, uh, let's talk about the car while we're in it right now, while we're driving it. Like I said earlier, absolutely comfortable. One of the, I love Jeep Grand Cherokees, probably my favorite SUV on the market. If I had the money, I'd definitely own a Trackhawk. But if I had the money, I'd probably even own a, a, tra a Trailhawk. I really love how they have the Trailhawk here on the steering wheel, very similar to how they have the Trackhawk. Uh, very nice leather on the steering wheel. We've obviously got, um, obviously got the heated steering wheel as well uh, to keep your hands nice and warm when it's cold like it is. Um, but right now the car, car is nice and warm. Got a perfect uh, temperature. I'm also geared up. So uh, so yeah, we're chilling. We're just, we're here relaxing, enjoying this absolute gorgeous uh, drive down the sea to sky in this beautiful uh, Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Uh, like, I, like I've uh, said in other videos, there, some of these cars are gonna be very uh, comparable and similar in some aspects uh, with its different tweaks and tunes, obviously, um, but very similar interior that you're going to get in the uh, in the SRTs and the Trackhawk and even um, the Limited X's and some of the other higher up Grand Cherokees is what we're going to have here today in this Trailhawk. We pretty much have all the options um, for this car. I think we're not ha we don't have the uh, sunroof in the Trailhawk. I believe that's because of a shortage with uh, parts and um, obviously the uh, pandemic aff affecting. Um, uh, inventory and stock so I think we have pretty much every option and honestly if you're looking to get an SUV right now um, I would very much consider just watch this whole video take a look at everything about this car and there do consider this Trailhawk the Jeep Grand Cherokee has a few different uh, trims and styles of the Trailhawk and obviously options um, but uh, this one today is the one we'll be looking at and it's it's in the 60k range it's right there in that 60 61 range um, I believe and uh, might even be 63 but that is not bad for an SUV that's pretty much fully loaded to the brim um, uh, the sound system in here absolutely bangs like I said it's the most comfortable ride Jeep Grand Cherokees are such amazing cars I love these SUVs a lot they're the most awarded SUV for a reason and uh, we're getting the right lane here just so some people can pass us we can enjoy this scenery just a little more but like I was saying if you're looking to get SUV don't cheap out on yourself Spend the extra 5, 10, 20 grand, whatever it may be to get up to this level, 60 grand. That's not bad for a brand new vehicle. Uh, absolutely beautiful sound system, beautiful drive. Uh, the, uh, we'll give a few pulls later on, but the, the V8 Hemi, 5.7 liter V8, the 360 horsepower, that is enough. That is fun, exciting. Uh, you get a nice grunt and growl out of the back end of the uh, tailpipes. You could probably put an exhaust on this and it's gonna sound identical to a uh, SRT or if not close. Um, but overall, just such a nice drive, 
and I couldn't pick another highway or place to give it a nice drive and, uh, and that's what we're doing today. We're just gonna experience this vehicle inside and out. Um, and um, and yeah, so far I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I've always been impressed with Jeep Grand Cherokees. Um, so yeah, we've got our uh, display right here, 8.4 inch. Uh, Uconnect display with all the uh, the settings, off-road maps, um, climate controls, uh, your apps, navigation, phone, media, all that stuff. Uh, we've got our classic, um, our hard buttons right here with our dials and some of our uh, parking assist and uh, lane assist, uh, eco mode, sport mode, traction control, all that stuff right there. We're gonna go through everything today. But just sitting here in the, the driver's seat, like the seats are very similar to the SRT and Trackhawk. Absolutely gorgeous, heated and ventilated, like I said. So um, yeah, overall, you're getting, you're, oh, I have to stop myself. Just look at the scenery where uh, we're driving on. I hope the GoPro showing this to you guys. Absolutely gorgeous here on the Sea to Sky. Uh, I, lo I love this highway a lot. It's just sometimes the best highway to drive down clear mine. Um, and no better no better way to drive on this highway than in this gorgeous trailhawk. I know for a fact if it was to downpour snow or whatever it is Rain whatever this car is gonna get me uh, to and from where I need to go. No problem We've got all our off-roading dials right beside me on the right can't really show them to you because I'm driving right now But yeah, we're gonna We're gonna go through this whole vehicle today. I don't want to get too carried away right carried away right now um, I'm kind of just rambling off uh, just enjoy this drive and this highway so much. I could talk for days. I could talk the whole way up to Whistler if you want me to, but uh, we're not going to do that. So let's let's uh, let's end things off here and get the video actually started. Uh, get going with the interior as well as the exterior um, features, and uh, and then do a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun in the snow as well, and uh, see how she uh, performs in the snow, and maybe even turn traction control off and do a few donuts. Uh, I'm sure my boss wouldn't mind that. So, like I said, guys, if uh, you're in the market for an SUV right now, it doesn't have to be this exact SUV, but use this video as knowledge and education, uh, maybe a little bit of a, a tutorial or a first person view of what this car is gonna be like instead of wasting your time and going down and checking out in person. Make sure you watch this video first and then book an appointment down at Foundation Auto North Vancouver and uh, the salesman will take you from there and you'll be in the best hands possible. But we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get things rolling here and get things started. Like I said, we're on the beautiful Sea to Sky Highway today in British Columbia. Absolute gorgeous uh, weather today. Some of the best we've had in a long time. And uh, it's beautifully sunny out. It's nice, it's just cold, that's all it is, but nothing coffee or uh, a little bit of heated seats and steering wheel can't fix. Uh, but further ado guys, let's get this video rolling. I'm super excited. I hope you guys had a great holidays, great Christmas, great New Year's. We're kicking things off strong in 2022 and I'm very excited for you guys to be a part of this channel. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. And like I said, like, comment, subscribe. You're helping us grow this channel, allowing us to bring more content and all feedback is good feedback. I wanna get better at these videos and uh, I know some of you guys out there are experts and can help me uh, get better as well. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get things rolling today, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get things rolling now. We are parked off on the side of the Sea to Sky Highway, just past where the gondolas are, um, just kind of like coming into Squamish, if you know where that is. Um, we're gonna pull off to the side a little bit later and show some, some more um, of the outside looks, but uh, maybe we'll just stay right here and, um, and hopefully it all works out. Should be good. We're just pulled off to the side in like this parking lot. There's tons of snow up here, but I wanted to show that this car is capable of all terrains. And right now we have snow terrain. So um, yeah, like no better place to get started than with that. We are pulled off to the side now in the driver's seat with this amazing steering wheel, very nice leather with like a uh, burgundy uh, ruby red kind of stitching throughout the uh, the uh, the leather of the, the steering wheel. If you can see it there on the GoPro, it's uh, all throughout just matching that theme of the uh, Trailhawk logo right here on the bottom. I love that a lot. It's just such a cool touch and just it really just showcases like you're in a different Jeep Grand Cherokee. You're in the Trailhawk Jeep Grand Cherokee and I like that a lot. Um, and yeah, so we got our paddle shifters behind the steering wheel, as you can see right here. 
Um, behind the steering wheel, we've got the turning signals left and right, our high beams. We only have one of these uh, back here. Uh, we don't have the dual sides. Um, like I've said in other videos, I really hope Jeep and Ram and Dodge can start making some really cool, unique uh, turning signals over here, uh, rather than just like the cheap kind of plastic. Uh, I think they could start coming out with some cool theme stuff to go with uh, their themed and um, uh, different spec and model vehicles, uh, which I think would be really cool. Uh, so that's pretty standard. Our uh, windshield wipers, rear and front, all everything just on uh, one control over here. Our uh, paddle shifters, like I said, with our uh, voice control and uh, music uh, buttons behind the steering wheel, which I'll show you once we step out of the vehicle. Um, the vehicle is on right now, and to do that, you just uh, got the push to start button right here, turn it off just like that, foot on the brake, boom, just like that, we are started. You can see Grand Cherokee right there loading up. And then uh, we've got our cluster just in uh, the front of us there as well. Um, right here, we've got my phone in the uh, cup holder. I'll put that away so you guys can uh, see everything a little bit better and no distractions. I got the keys right there, pretty straightforward. And, and the keys aren't any different um, to the other uh, Jeep uh, vehicles, other than obviously the Wranglers and stuff. But uh, yeah, pretty straightforward key, just like that, boom. And you can see here our stock and um and vin numbers you got the silver uh, color today and uh, this is the trailhawk indeed 2021 so uh put that right back in there two cup holders with the uh the clip-ins so uh, if you have anything in there that is uh, a little bit smaller than the cup holder size it's gonna uh, clip in latch in just to tighten up a little bit in case you're uh, wobbling around when you're driving if you push this guy right here you're opening up a little bit of storage below we've got some um, uh, voltage DC plug-ins right here with our two USB uh, ports and an auxiliary port you don't have any USB-C ports in this I believe we open up here no I don't believe we have any USB-C ports but just regular USB we got one and two and then our auxiliary uh, you probably won't need the auxiliary because this car has Bluetooth um, and right over here is that 8.4 inch you connect screen lovely screen I love these a lot. Uh, they're pretty standard and uh, straightforward in all the other uh, Jeep vehicles, Grand Cherokees. Um, we've got all our controls down here, as you can see. We got media. We got our climate. Uh, our controls for heated seats. I got those on right now in the heated steering wheel because it is minus nine right now. It's freezing. Uh, we've also got the vented seat, so in the summer you can stay cool as well. Uh, we've got our apps all just up in here with everything else. We've got the Wi-Fi hotspot, our travel link um uh roadside assists all that stuff as well as our off-roading maps which if you click it it'll just take a few seconds to load and basically this is going to show you all your off-roading features uh be able to control some of the uh the features and uh just monitor overall um uh, your jeep off-roading it's kind of cool you got a little jeep driving across the screen there while it's loading uh so yeah we got our vehicle dynamics suspension uh, pitch roll uh, accessory gauges and our select uh, train these are really cool and if you want to monitor your uh, your uh, gauges for while you're off-roading that way you don't overheat or overdo anything our pitch and roll make sure that you're uh, as you can see here we're kind of a little bit off but that's because we're on a, a little bit of snow right now and so the terrain is a little bit off but that's super cool and then our air suspension like i said quadra air, uh, air suspension in this vehicle um, and uh, you can control that all just right here uh, on these buttons we can click it up and we're gonna raise the vehicle. Let's go all the way to the top and see what that's all about. As you can see there, the car is raising. Step by step, we are going up. You can see kind of like the tires and stuff in the screen there all adjusting, showing you that uh, your car is uh, moving on up in the, uh, the air suspension, which is cool. And uh, so while that loads, we're gonna lead ourselves down here as well. You're gonna see all our uh, our modes over here, you're gonna see uh, we've got the uh, auto mode, sand, snow, mud, rock, and uh, neutral. And then we've got our uh, down and our up for the Quadra air suspension buttons just right here. As you can see, I believe we are full all the way to the top. And I'm curious to see how that looks on the exterior. We're gonna leave that like that for now. We got our four wheel drive low and then um, all of our other uh, gauges and buttons just right there. Our shifter, very straightforward and standard like all our other uh, SRT Trackhawks and uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees. Very nice shifter. Could have maybe done something a little cool and more themed with the Trailhawk, but we don't always have to overdo it uh, with the theme as well. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, put that in reverse and you'll see here the uh, reverse camera not the greatest reverse camera I would be more impressed with something that was higher definition kind of like the Wranglers and some of the Rams uh, It's decent. It's fair. It's nothing to brag about or anything like that, but it is a decent reverse camera I don't mind it. 
Um, but yeah, go into neutral, drive, and then uh, we can go Triptronic if we want, just like that, shift up and down. But you also have the paddle shifters behind the uh, steering wheel, so you don't have to worry too much about that. We're gonna flick that back like that, put it into park, because we don't need to worry about that. All our buttons right here, our uh, hazard button, our mute, uh, you can turn the screen on and off, just like that. Uh, we'll exit out of the off-roading pages for now. Uh, we got our phone set up and all that stuff. Good stuff just like that. We've got our TikTok radio on, all the bangers, if you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, we've got our uh, tune controls, volume controls, heat, our climate buttons and uh, heat buttons, our uh, parking and uh, lane assists, as well as our eco and sport mode and uh, traction control mode. Uh, I was hoping for a parking lot with uh, a little more snow that wasn't as raggedy or uh sketchy as the snow here so i don't think we'll be doing too, too any uh, off-roading hopefully maybe i find somewhere else that we can do it uh but i don't want it to uh, damage the vehicle this is a brand new vehicle only 100 kilometers on it so i want to make sure whoever buys this they're getting it uh mint condition um pretty uh straightforward vents very similar to all the other uh, jeeps they're uh they're not bad they're not too uh not too crazy uh, not too cheap either so that's uh that's all cool we've got our cluster right in front of us and the uh, controls for the cluster are just right here on the steering wheel you can just kind of cycle through everything um just in there and uh you can see all your uh adaptive control cru adaptive cruise control our gas our trip um all our stuff you know what i mean like everything to uh to stay uh looped in with the vehicle our uh, voice control buttons and our uh, cruise control buttons just right there uh rear view mirror Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Very I like that one. I like this one a lot. Um, our, some storage up here for your sunglasses. Our trunk, our trunk button to open up the trunk. Garage controls in case you want to program your garage, and then our uh, our lights as well. Just like that. If you want to take a look at your uh, your pretty faces, boom. And I do believe if you just pull that like that, you get a little more extra storage on the side, or not storage, a little more extra. Um, uh, protection on the side in case the sun is really glaring in on that left side while you're in the driver's seat we'll close it out we got storage uh, just in the uh, center console here i've got all our gopro stuff set up in here as you can see quite a bit of gopro stuff fits in there so it's uh, quite a bit of storage and you can see it tells you you've got the 12 volt dc plug-in down there just so you don't have to go reaching close that like that you can open up the top a little bit extra storage with like a suede material maybe you want to store some keys or more valuable things just in here your phone whatever uh, keep that safe put that down just like that and uh, yeah let's get uh let's get moving now on the rest of the uh, tour we're gonna open up the driver's side door here we've got our um, metal looking uh, handle but i believe this is plastic uh, it's not too cheap feels pretty decent though got a nice uh plastic uh kind of like wood grain uh finish look going throughout the plastic here uh throughout this whole vehicle uh, all the way through here and then this is just plain uh uh, black plastic with the chrome accents and then more of that like wood grain kind of just add a little more off-roading uh, kind of vibe to it we do have the memory seats you can see those buttons are just right here so you can set the memory seats uh, these obviously are um, remote seats so you can uh, move them back and forth and all that jazz adjust them the way you like we've got our uh, headlight uh, and uh, rear lights and all that uh, stuff just right here in the uh, controls uh, to control if you don't want I mean I have it in auto because the car is going to adjust to the lighting outside and uh, they normally do it really well so I just leave it in auto but if you want to change it uh, it's just as simple as that and then uh, the the light cabin lighting for uh, your cluster and your uh, display screen as well uh, the gas button right here you just click it to open up the gas uh, um, uh, cap so you can op uh, fill it up um, let's step outside of the vehicle here so you can see and uh yeah like i was saying earlier about these seats i love these seats a lot they're very nice got that like alcantara suede material um heated and ventilated with that beautiful trailhawk logo just right there absolutely gorgeous uh, i love these seats a lot you'll see these in the trackhawk and the srt uh, these are really nice i love them when you get them in uh, the grand cherokee um so that's really cool and like i said your remote seats you can move them back and forth we've got the uh, jeep all weather mats in here uh, it's really snowy and dirty, so I've already got the driver's side a little bit dirty, but the rest of the car should be good. These are great mats. As you can see, it's holding up the dirt in the water very well, keeping the rest of the car very clean, and then you just kind of 
pull, pull them open just like this and take them out and then uh, empty them and clean them and uh, keep the vehicle, rest of the vehicle clean. Very minimal dirt coming into vehicle, all being held in on those mats, which is great. Uh, adjust the steering wheel just right here at that clip. More of those buttons, like I said, behind the steering wheel to control your audio, uh, music, uh, functions like that. We don't have the sunroof in this uh, gorgeous vehicle today, but um, you know, hopefully maybe soon we can start getting some of these with the, uh, the sunroof in them. Amazing look into the uh, driver's side cabin, as you can see right there. And then uh, the rest of the door paneling, we got some cup holder or uh, uh, bottle spots and then some more storage just here, here on the side of the door. We do have the one touch mirrors so they can go inwards, as you can see right there, in case you're in a uh, tight parking lot and you don't want anyone to hit your mirrors, press them just like that and then the rest of the buttons for them as well. I'm not too sure the sound system in this, I'm gonna assume Alpine uh, or something like that. Uh, maybe it's a Jeep's own brand. There's uh, nothing in here that's telling me the, uh, the sound system, but I believe it is the full 19 speakers. Uh, I believe so because uh, I do see them all and this this car does bang it has a nice subwoofer in the uh, the truck as well uh, trunk as well and you can see it actually is pretty high up since we lifted the uh, the air suspension you can see how much more the vehicle has come up off the ground uh, let's make sure we have the keys on us just in case this car wants to lock us out um, we're still rolling GoPro still rolling just had to make sure or close that door and uh, before I show you the uh, the <laughs> The exterior just take a look at this absolutely gorgeous view of the chief i believe that is the chief mountain you can hike that absolutely gorgeous we're just pulled off a side here of the uh, sea to sky highway absolute amazing uh scenery here today and uh, we got one of the best vehicles to be looking at in this uh, scenery and you can see the quadra air lift suspension uh air lift suspension uh putting it on the highest lift it lifts you quite a bit off the uh off the uh the ground there the vehicle has come up quite a bit which is really cool i like that a lot and uh, as you can see, our Grand Cherokee with the black and the outlined red. I think that looks absolutely clean. You can just see there in the, the, the frost and the snow how much it stands out and how beautiful uh, it uh, ties in with even like the trail rated logo uh, 4x4 just right there. Before we get all st started, all that stuff, let's go. Uh, let's do get the uh, exterior lights on so you can see nice. And then we'll open up into the, uh, the passenger side in the back here just to make sure that... Um, put the hat just in the front there just so we can take a look at the back as well you've got heated and ventilated seats in the uh in the back as well the same seats you're getting in the front you're getting in the back absolutely gorgeous very comfortable seats i love them a lot they look very nice very classy very expensive um very luxurious as well we do have our all-weather mats all in the back here as well you can see jeep i really love how jeep does their all-weather mats we're gonna hop in the back here because it is freezing Ugh. let's check out the uh the space um, I've got this seat pretty much almost all the way back. I'm 6'1", so I do, uh, I do stretch my legs a little bit while I'm in the car. But as you can see, there is still a lot of space. I don't feel too crammed up. I don't think this would be the most comfortable for a long road trip, but um, I do like it a lot. Uh, we've got our Jeep uh, grip bars just right here to get in and out of the vehicle. As you saw, like we've lifted up quite a bit, so it is, uh, it is off the ground. So you do need, uh, need a little bit of a grip bar to get, uh, to get in. Same, same theme on the door paneling. We've got our uh, vents here for uh, the, the hot air and cold air to come through to the backside. Two USB ports, 115 volt AC uh, plug-in, and then our heated and ventilated seats just right here. You can click them and uh, turn them off just like that. Um, I think the back actually might just be heated seats and not um, ventilated as well. But uh, either, way, either way, that's pretty cool. Extra uh, storage right here or room for your arm. Uh, you got two cup holder spots. Pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Uh, or if you want to make it a third seat, you could have someone sitting here in the middle. Wah! Get here in the middle and uh, and yeah, I mean, it would be tight. It would be tight having three people unless there may be kids and stuff. It'd be tight having three adults in the back here. Uh, but two is, uh, is is perfect, fits great. We've got these great off-roading, very similar to the uh, Jeep Wranglers and uh, Rubicons and, um, oh, sorry, not Rubicons, Wranglers and uh, Gladiators. Uh, very similar, I like that a lot, like the mesh netting, kind of tying in that off-road vibe and feel, which is super cool and an amazing look into the front of the cabin here, as you can see. Um, just an absolute gorgeous vehicle. Jeep does a great job with their SUVs. Just very straightforward, very luxurious, not over the top, very clean cut. All the edges look great. And uh, yeah, that's not just me hyping up the vehicle. I've, I've been in quite a few and uh, I give praise to all car companies for always being creative and being the best they can be. But I, I really love uh, Grand Cherokees a lot. And if I had a, a preference, I would definitely choose one, um, preferably the Trackhawk, but um, who would say no to a Trackhawk as well? Uh, let's hop out here back outside get out here Whoa. 
We do have uh, some more storage here for uh, cup holders or bottles or whatever it may be. Uh, so that's cool. These seats can go down, so, can go down, so you can open up into the uh, the trunk space, which I'm going to show you right now. But yeah, nice little look at the uh, back of the cabin here. We've got our hooks here for your coats or dry cleaning, whatever it may be. Push them back in just like that. Um, cool, yeah, I like it a lot. Let's open up into the uh, the trunk. We got the one touch button here. Just click it like that, and you've seen it's just gone frozen. We'll get into the exterior in a bit. Just take a look into this trunk space. Absolutely sick. The amount of trunk space they give you is absolutely crazy. I mean, you could almost add a third row of seats back here, but I think this is like the the, the most trunk space you're probably going to need. Honestly, it's nice because you don't really have to put anything else down. It's just uh, it's there. It's open. You can get the all weather mat for the back as well, and then also the uh, the cover uh, that just goes and inserts in right here. Um, and then that subwoofer I was telling you about, this car bangs, absolutely clear, beautiful, very well-rounded surround sound system in this uh, in this uh, Jeep Tr Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Uh, right here, if you press this button, pull it up, we got our spare tire. And uh, this is almost like a full-size tire. I, I believe it is just a spare, but um, it is a very nice uh, spare to have. Uh, it's still, I believe, the uh, all-weather, so you can... Um, uh, make sure that you, if you have your spare on, you can still get in and out of where you need to go. I believe they uh, they should be the all weather, but uh, yeah, everything's straightforward in here. You got your your uh, your tools to uh, change the tire, and then you can put your other one back in here. And if you don't want the spare tire, if you want to be risky, you could have a lot more storage in here, which uh, which yeah, could be cool. Got a little more storage just right over here. Put uh, whatever you you feel like you want to put. Um, some more clips, uh, but overall, like this is a large. Uh, large trunk space and that's just what um justifies these grand cherokees for me is they provide you everything uh from driving to looks to uh space uh comfortability luxurious uh price range uh, especially this this is in that 60k price range which i think is just a steal uh for what you're getting out of it especially if you're someone who lives in a, a city that has all types of weather uh rain wind snow all that stuff you're probably going to want to have a uh, be secure with a vehicle like this um so we're going to press this one button right here and that's going to close up the trunk as you can see just like that very clean very simple very safe if someone's in the way they will uh this will stop and uh, the safety feature will protect you we've got our dual exhaust uh tips just on the back here uh so not dual we've got uh, this the one on each side uh this is a v8 it does sound absolutely gorgeous i'll give you an exhaust test in a bit we got our uh tow hitch plugins all just right here on the bottom very cool uh, that Trailhawk logo to make sure everybody knows that this is a Trailhawk. I love it a lot. It looks so clean, similar vibe to like the Trackhawk. And I just love the, the chrome that they did with the red. It just stands out and really suits itself with this this uh, this uh, silver uh, color on the, the vehicle as well. We've got our 4x4 logo in the matte black, uh, kind of like a gunmetal uh, matte, very clean. Our uh, modern, very modern um, taillights, which are uh, very nice, look amazing at night. Um, and then our Jeep logo right here and I love the way they do this Jeep logo where they like have it like cut into the the frame and then kind of like 3d coming out of the frame as well like uh, just absolutely gorgeous and I love that a lot with that like gunmetal uh, gray and then the red on the outside very clean very sleek um, and this is like a back angle of the uh, the vehicle here absolutely gorgeous we got it lifted up right now so it looks like it's a little bit lifted um uh, with the air suspension i got that all the way up it is dirty because uh, the highways are are quite treacherous right now with the uh the weather and the way it's been and it's absolutely freezing and um there's no other place i'd rather be but doing this video for you guys we uh got this beautiful angle here as you can see with the scenery just look how sick this vehicle looks how gorgeous and clean it looks definitely arguably one of the best suvs you can get out there is the jeep grand cherokee but the trailhawk trim is just it's what takes it that further uh, distance in terms of everything it's providing you. We got our tow hooks on the front as well and the red, which I love to love a lot to know that it's a, uh, that shows you that it's a Trailhawk. And uh, we got our modern uh, headlights just right here. Absolutely gorgeous at night. The active tracking, which is very nice. Um, love that a lot. Most tra uh, Trailhawks, you're gonna see this kind of like matte um, kind of like a racing stripe sticker look uh, on the hood that that will show you and differentiate the uh, the Trailhawk to a lot of the other uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees. But overall, just an absolute gorgeous vehicle. Shout out Foundation Auto. We're in North Van and Squamish, but this uh, this vehicle right here is from uh, the North Van location. And uh, just another angle right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely sick. We're gonna give you guys um, a little taste of the exhaust in a moment here. 
let's uh let's hop into the uh car to quickly check the uh we're gonna take a look at the we're gonna flick this right here and take a look under the hood just to make sure you guys know what we're working with very easy to pop this just a little flick boom there she is 5.7 liter hemi v8 and you can see right there as well hemi they made sure you knew because this is coming out of the uh the engine hemi it's letting you know this is a hemi and uh it sounds absolutely gorgeous very clean look how beautiful they've put together this engine bay very presentable very nice um i love it a lot all your uh all your standard stuff and uh right there again 5.7 liter v8 360 horsepower absolutely sounds amazing has great pull a lot of fun with this vehicle i'd really love to actually take it off-roading uh, i thought i'd be able to do that today but as you as you can see the uh the snow is quite all over the place and i don't want to damage the vehicle at all so we're going to keep it a little more straightforward and simple to close it let's pull it down just like that we're going to close it just like that So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today of this 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button. Please comment down below what you thought of this video. Um, and if you have any advice, oh, almost tripped there on snow. Uh, comment down below if you have any advice. Uh, if you would drive something like this, if this is a vehicle that uh, interests you, uh, what you thought of the vehicle, what you thought of the video, and subscribe because it helps grow our channel, allows us to continue to bring you guys videos. And, um, and uh, I love making these videos. Whether uh, I'm an expert or not, I'm getting there. I'm trying to learn the best I can for you guys, give you honest reviews. But uh, overall, I love, make, love making these videos for you guys. And uh, I hope they're helping you out uh, with your decisions in terms of uh, cars you want to buy in the, in the market. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to DM us or uh, send us an email um, or uh, call us. Just Google Foundation Auto North Vancouver around 1600 Marine and uh, we'll make sure to take care of you. We're gonna end it just right here with this gorgeous backdrop and this amazing car right in front of me. Uh, no better place to do it. Uh, once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, there's gonna be a bunch more coming in 2022. We are excited for this year, excited for the direction we're gonna take this. And I hope you guys are stay, stay tuned and, uh, and uh, hit those notifications so you know when we drop a new video and, and be ready. Uh, thanks so much for supporting. Thanks for 1000 subscribers. And uh, we're going to see you guys uh, very shortly. Peace.